Under the current city charter, the city council has the authority to set the salaries of elected officials, and the mayor has the power under state law to determine which elected officials are eligible for benefits, specifically whether or not they can participate in the city's group health insurance and life insurance plans. The proposed charter doesn't change these powers and authorities. But when the Charter Drafting Committee sat down and reviewed the current compensation practices, we were concerned by a few things. First, there are inherent conflicts of interest when city councilors set their own salaries. Second, there is a possibility for patronage abuse when the mayor determines eligibility of benefits. And finally, there was a lack of transparency in the current system. Most of us were clueless that city councilors and school committee members were receiving health insurance from the city. This is not something they advertised nor campaigned on, and it was not something they were legally obligated, obligated to disclose. The Charter Drafting Committee explored these issues, and we looked at best practices and what other cities and towns were doing. We held public forums and got some good input. We realized that while the conflicts of interest couldn't be completely negated, greater transparency was needed. We proposed that the new charter mandate that the mayor's annual budget include a line item that separately identifies the compensation and benefits of elected officials. Also, to allow for and encourage greater public input on the compensation issue, what is the appropriate salary or stipend, should benefits be included, we proposed that, that the new charter create a permanent advisory board comprised of citizens that would periodically review co compensation levels and make recommendations to the city council. We think these changes will greatly increase transparency, encourage more citizen input in setting compensation levels for our elected officials.